Long time coming. I mean, it's an exciting time for Brooklyn Nets fans and New York fans just to, to see one of our own back on the floor at home. And it means a lot to our team. We're happy to have him back and look forward to finishing the season strong, you know, and, um, and I'm glad this is all behind us. I've been pinching myself since Wednesday and Thursday because uh, there was a time where I got my hopes really, really high and um, all the air was just let out. And um, it's just a level of disappointment. And I, don't, I didn't want to get too excited. And, and still tonight, I'm trying to focus on this game. Um, but I know tomorrow uh, will eventually come. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity to be playing back in Brooklyn. I'm not naive to the fact that the, the Mets and the Yankees, I mean, they have a lot of power in our city. And, uh, you know, I'm sure once um, they all helped and had conversations with whoever they needed to talk to was able to push it over the top. So. Sports and you know is, is a huge factor in a lot of these major cities, and I'm glad we can get things done for everybody to move forward. Uh, you know, but um, you know, I know New York City fans are excited about it. It's felt like every game is ultra important. Um, you know, just for the last 20 games or last month, and me being in and out hasn't helped. <laughs> you know, in terms of our continuity and, and guys. Uh, you know, kind of being in and out of the lineup. So uh, I think it'll definitely give us some consistency. Great for continuity. Great to know that, you know, coming off the road, we we'll don't have to worry about adjusting our lineups or our game plans based off who's based off of Kyrie not being there. So hopefully in, on Sunday, um, you know, we get even more energy from our fan base and uh, help us get that W. So I'm looking forward to it. Let me just call it spade a spade. We're in the A spot and we're still expected to be contenders. And, I mean, if that's not a, a true testament to the level of talent that we have on this team, I don't know what is. I appreciate the respect. Um, but honestly, you know, it takes a, a little bit longer to build that continuity. And we're using these games in practice time. But, um, you know, we're just going to put our best foot forward, really, and, and just live with the results. We want to play with ease, play with some freedom, and not think about what's going on that could distract us and stay focused. You know, just have fun. Um, but obviously, these important games tonight, you know, as a competitor, we're going to do everything possible to prepare. A lot of guys have to do a little bit more than that. Than what they're used to and it's good to settle people back down into what they need to do out on the floor and you know so we just got to build from this and I know it's nine eight nine games left but you know every day is important every minute on the quarter is important and we're looking forward to continue to build that I signed up for this for the long run so I'm I love this year I'm grateful it has not been a prototypical year but when I when I look at my teammates and I look at what we have as an organization I'm looking for the long run and and what we can do on legacy talk you know we can talk again you know you judge my performance as everybody else's performance just league but um for me and i know that uh, um, our team sentiment is just you know we want to build a legacy here and, and have something sustainable not this you know put this together real quick and then uh, see what happens you know but we, we're going to do our best does that mean you're resigning up in the summer that's what i was going to say oh shoot yeah <laughs> oh, because you're talking about legacy uh, how much does the mandate be i gotta i gotta be aware of these mics here you know what i mean sir he's sir he being mics i appreciate you but uh <laughs> you know, I, I think uh, for me, it, it has always been about uh, being comfortable, loving where I'm at, and, and I love it here. And, um, you know, once that summertime hits, I know that we'll have some conversations, but, you know, there's no way I could leave my man seven anywhere.